Remove the glass, clean the glass, dry the glass thoroughly, then reinstall it using all the clips. The next thing you'll need to do is preheat the hot end to 190 and the bed to 60 degrees. While the hot end is warming up, remove any excess filament, grab yourself a scrap piece of paper and go to the LCD screen. Drop down to advanced settings, calibrate Z height, home the towers first, then click Z position. Keep winding down until the nozzle is close to the bed, then slow right down. Keep lowering the nozzle bit by bit until it starts to grip the paper. You want the nozzle to resist the movement of the paper, but not be so tight that you cannot get the piece of paper back under the nozzle when you pull it out. Once you're happy, click the button, then go down and select Set New Z Position. Back into Repetier Host, select the Config menu, then drop down to Firmware EEPROM Configuration. You'll need to copy the new Z height from Z max length and paste it into both X and Y max length. When that's done, disconnect the printer, select the config menu again and then down to printer settings. Choose the printer shape tab and paste the Z max length into the printable height. And with that, the basic calibration is now done. Use this method for changing nozzles, hot ends, or if you feel the Z height is not correct. Now, for a perfectly parallel bed, Let's check the XYZ end stops. This is just a quick refresher of the calibration guide from Appendix C of the Rostock Assembly Manual. If you haven't ever read that, then go do it! Alrighty, grab some paper, send script number one, and check the nozzle height using the same technique from earlier. If the nozzle is too low, raise it by turning the screw clockwise. If it's too high, lower it with counterclockwise. Now, send script two, check the nozzle height, and then adjust if needed. Then send script 3, check the nozzle height again, and again adjust if needed. If all goes well, then sending script 4 will cause the nozzle to land perfectly in the center of the bed with the same paper resistance as the other scripts, and you'll be all done. If not, then it could mean that your printer radius is incorrect. Click the config menu, go down to EEPROM thing again. You'll need to increase the horizontal radius if you want to lower the nozzle, and decrease it if you want to raise the nozzle. Remember, every time you do this, you'll need to go back and send script 1, 2, and 3, adjusting the nozzle height for each one again. Thanks for watching, I hope you found it useful. If there's something you want me to cover in particular, just leave a comment below. If you want to contact us at all, we're over at doodaddoes.com. See ya!